Okay. Everything's half price for the king, as you can see. Okay. Oh, 10 speed and 600 is nice as well. I have to keep that in mind. I have no guild to exploit it at the moment. But yeah, shout out to uh, my friend Tanya for letting me know about that. She only told me two or three things and one of them was just the king gets a discount. That's been one of the best things about like meeting people through my YouTube channel and making friends and that kind of thing. Where like if I'm starting a new game, I have people I can rely on that I know know these games and they can give me spoiler free like important information instead of like having to rely on comments for example. So if I use the comments of part one as like a sort of, oh, like, is, if there's anything that I need to know, let me know in part one of the comments. That's the kind of thing I sort of used to do. It just leaves me much more prone to being spoiled and being given bad advice and all that kind of stuff. But thankfully I've met enough people now, like, and I have enough of a community that there's always people on hand to give me, like, solid, reliable, and spoiler-free advice. Rest for a bit, why not? <laughs> oh, okay. The life that could have been. Hmm. Castle hasn't changed much. And yet it's different. Mum and Dad are gone. Nothing can ever really be the same. Not after what happened. What did happen? Tonight, worst he's been, so if he should... No, you're wrong. It's not true. Priestess, the king, he's... I've got to read those quick. Sabin! Sabin! Dad couldn't have... Dad couldn't have... Edgar. So... Dad didn't make it. Edgar, there you are. Your father just said he would entrust Figaro to the two of you. Those were his final words. You all make me sick. Everyone's saying that the Empire had Dad poisoned. And the only thing any of you can think about is who will be the next king. No one's even sad. None of you probably cared when Mum died after we were born either. That's not... You're just as bad as the rest of them. Sabin. Empire of murderers. They won't get away with this. Priestess, leave us. Let's leave this place. Let's forget this crazy kingdom and live our lives how we want to. You said you didn't want to be a king, right? A life of freedom, huh? What do you think would happen to Figaro if both of us left? There'd be no one to take the throne. Dad was counting on us to take care of the kingdom. Sabin, let's settle this with a toss of a coin. Dad gave me this one. If it's heads, you win. Tails, I win. The winner chooses whichever path he wants. No regrets, no hard feelings. Okay. Here we go. Edgar's going to win the toss. It's 
It's a hell of a story these two have. And you chose your freedom. Surely he feels guilt. It's already been ten years. That little shrimp has grown into a whopping lobster. And you're a king crab. <laughs> These two are great. Sabin, do you think Dad would be proud of me? Don't you ever doubt that. I'm sure he's beaming with pride, wherever he is. Give it a mosh. Ten years. Where has the time gone? Here's to a couple of confused grown-ups. Drink! Here's to Dad. To Mum. And to Figaro. What a great little story. You see, it doesn't take a lot, man. All it takes is just a few minutes of dialogue and, and backstory and, you know, that kind of thing. And suddenly, characters just become so much more fleshed out. You feel so much more connected. You feel a little bit of emotion. That's what makes these games great. It doesn't always need to be, like, big, long, crazy cutscenes. It just sometimes... Just something like that is enough. I just want to see if I can talk to these guys. Our King Shat. Well, I thought they'd say something different. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, King Edgar. <laughs> that was it. I thought there was going to be some different dialogue. Who'd have thought we'd see the day when a human flew over a mountain range? Unbelievable, isn't it? Okay. So yeah, I mean, really enjoying Edgar and Sabin. I, I think they're a great combination. I kind of like the fact that they're that they're such they're actually so close as well. I mean, usually with these sort of stories, it's like oh, you have twin brothers. One's the bad one. One's the the good one. They're on opposite sides. They hate each other, but really they love each other deep down, sort of shit. But I think this is, if anything, even though this is kind of it's a simple take on it or like a more natural take on it, I feel like it's it's a much more interesting variant of the of the situation having two brothers that genuinely do care for each other but their fates cause them to, to choose separate paths. and Like, not in like a good versus evil kind of way, but yeah, I mean, I've, I've definitely liked their story so far. I hope one of them doesn't die at the end. I'd be upset if that happens. But especially Edgar, man, he's had to, he's had to sacrifice a lot for his people and to make his dad proud and to continue his legacy. Let's see if anything different happens here. Yeah, so he demands to see Edgar, but I'm here. So I guess some of the dialogue doesn't really change. Nah, okay. That's a bit silly, but fine. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to do other than to move this castle. Alright, so let's have a word here with Sabin. He's probably still here. Or maybe not. Fine. Might have to go to those towers. Move the side. Uh, I'm trying to remember how you get to them. There was a you had to take like a side bit to get to it. I don't I don't think it's those basement floors. I think it's this one. Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. Priestess. Oh, Sabin, you've sure grown up, haven't you? I still remember that time, you know. The time you really let me have it. 
I think you taught me something very important that day. King Edgar, how long do you expect me to keep waiting for you to propose? Sheesh. <laughs> I think I, I didn't think I'd read sheesh in this game. That's good. The Kassarian Empire is already overthrown. Yeah, he's saying the same thing. Okay. So I'm slowly st reaching the stage where I don't know what to do. I mean, am I supposed to literally just run out west myself? I thought... I was thinking that we were going to go there with Figaro Castle. But... doesn't seem to be the case. This bit too. No. Okay. Well, I think the final thing I'll do is speak to the Chancellor, and if he's not saying anything either, then I think it's time for me to get out of here. So I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Unless it's another one of those stupid, you have to have explored everything before you go in sort of situations. This time I doubt it though. Sabin? My, my. What a splendid young man you've become. Please, take your time and relax within the castle. Eh, too much relaxing. I'm done relaxing, I need to go. These are the merchants. Uh... Right, there's this guy. Okay, yes, so he was the guy that could get shit moving, wasn't it? Lots of requests this month. I can take you to the desert beyond the mountains if you'd like. Let's go. Ugh! There we go. Yes. So once again, it was the final place I looked, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. Moving around like sin. Excellent. Welcome to Kolingen. Enjoy your visit. Sorry, I got you down there. Oh, what? Seriously, I've not been allowed down there at all. Is it because it's the king? He wants to protect his... What if Sellers tries to go down there? Okay, fine. I will go down there eventually. Right. I'm going to go back to having Locke in charge here. Right. That was quick. Surely new enemies here. Yes. Uh, I think that was right. Fossil Dragon. I don't think fire is going to do much damage to it, somehow. It did. Couldn't steal. We've got Drill now. Let's see it. Whoa, Lock, Lock is a zombie now? That ain't good. I want to see what happens uh, at the end of the battle. Whoa. I think I ran into something like really horrible here. I think I might have to run. I'm going to run from this one. I'm going to use a, a smoke bomb thingy. I've got to get out. I think I've run into something that's like a, a end game enemy. Not getting a game over here. <laughs> There's no way something can be that powerful. Let me just get in and recover quickly. Whoa, that was a scare. I feel like there's no way it could be that that strong. Quick recovery. 
If anything, I might um, I might throw in a save state here and go. And if I run into it again, then this time I'll try and fight it. But I don't even have holy water. I don't even think you can buy holy water at this stage. So, given how quickly it can zombie everybody, I think that's a bit of a. Let me just run into one encounter here. If it's if it turns out to be quite a common encounter, then that's a different story. It is. Is it always like the first encounter here? I mean, look at that damage. I mean, even healing is dangerous because um, obviously you've got the zombie status as well. I mean, this thing feels a bit undead to me, so what if I fiends down it? There you go, I killed it. Okay. Ooh. It's extremely difficult, though. 95 experience only. 1,872 gil, though. I think that's an indication that it's not something that's supposed to be easy. Right. Kolingan. After that crazy battle, let's, uh, let's calm down. So there we go, the game suddenly got extremely dangerous. <laughs> a strange glowing creature flew through here, scared the living daylights out of me. It took off southwards, towards Jidor. Jidor, Jidor, who the flip knows. Was that thing really a monster? It stopped right in front of my little girl, and I could see it had gentle eyes. I saw a pretty light. It came here, and everyone else was afraid of it, but I liked it. It's my dream to see an opera at the Opera House south of Jidor. South of Jidor. With a handsome date, of course. I'd get all dolled up, put on a sequin dress. Edgar's got you covered. Oh, Locke, is that you? Have you stopped by Rachel's house? That thing. I don't know what it was, but it tore up my house. Some kind of glowing monster. My younger brother's a bit eccentric. Lives alone up north. Says he's going to build a coliseum or some such nonsense. Well, poor guy's house. <laughs> A girl named Rachel used to live in that house up there. No one lives there anymore, though. No one lives here anymore? I... I couldn't protect her. Oh, it's his Rachel. Shit. So, here's his story. another really beautiful theme. Locke, what are we off to find today? It's almost your... There's supposed to be an amazing treasure hidden somewhere in this mountain. We're gonna find it. Locke, look out! That didn't last long. Shit. Rachel! Whoa, we went straight down? Damn. She survived the fall. Rachel, are you awake? She lost her memory. I... I can't remember anything. Get out of my house! It's your fault Rachel lost her memory. Wait! Just let me talk to her! 
please, just go away. I don't know who you are, but my parents get upset whenever you come here. Oof. Everyone got a sad story in this game. It seems. Rachel will be better off without you hanging around, Locke. She's going to make a new start of it. With you here, she can't even do that. Wow. A year went by. When I finally returned, I found out that Rachel had been killed in an Imperial attack. Her memory had returned just before she died. The last thing she said was, my name. I should never have left her side. I... I failed her. So there we go. That is Locke's story. Another brutal one. One thing I'm like, I guess probably a limitation of the game, I would say, like of the times and that kind of thing. But like when we hear these backstories, I expect to like a little bit more of a conversation about it. Like as in, I don't know, I thought the, the, the group would try and console him a bit or say something. I don't know. Like he finishes the story and then everyone just stares at him and we just, we just move on kind of thing. I don't know. But definitely getting fleshed out. This is, this is good to see for sure. Okay. Oh. Green beret. Well, that's nice. <laughs> definitely starting to get more fleshed out. It's, it, it feels like it's going to be one of these games where pretty much everybody has a pretty sad story. I mean, you can tell Gal, Gal looks like the, the kid who's been abandoned by his father after the circumstance of his birth. We've got Locke, uh, we've got the, the twins that had to, to split apart, that sort of thing, so... It's definitely shaping up that way. General store. Ah, we could buy a holy water now. Okay. I wonder if we could buy these from Figaro. Maybe I should wait, go back to Figaro and see if I can buy some of those. Mithril shield. Twist headband. Hmm. I might buy one. So it seems like we're going to get Shadow back soon. I mean, we've got all these scrolls available. Hmm. Okay. They've all got chests behind them. I don't know if there's a way to get to him. It does look like there's a passageway from that side, which might give you access. Hmm. I need to see if I can go... Nope. Okay. Wishful thinking, maybe. You do get blocked off at, like, annoyingly sometimes here, just like... <laughs> but you've got to deal with these slight inconveniences when you're playing a game from this era. Right, a few more conversations to be had. Oh, there he is. Well, didn't take long, did it? Okay. Hello, Shadow. Let's speak to this guy first. I wouldn't talk to that guy if I were you. He's an assassin. We meet again. Leave me alone. Well, uh, no. Alright, he's not having it. We get some rather unsavory sorts in here. That guy over there is an assassin. I don't even think I have 200 gil. I do. But do I really need to stay? Yes, I think I should. So 
so he's here, but we could, I think maybe like before we leave, something's going to happen, and he'll want to join. Okay, so what was I trying to do again? Before any of that, I want to head back to Figaro for a sec. Just see if I can buy Holy Waters, I might have missed that. It'd be an important addition, as you've seen, the first enemy we encountered was tough. And it used a lot of zombie, so... Seems like a good idea. Whoops. Nah, I always mix up the rooms here. It's these ones, right? I just want to see if he's selling holy walls, so if this guy isn't, then... Oh, he is. Okay, good. Right, I think I'll have a fight or two here, then. Just to make some gill, so I can buy some holy water. Let's go. I probably won't fight in the sand, so I don't don't have to encounter that enemy. That one's pretty dangerous. Okay, some new enemies, some bigger looking wolves. Let's see if stuff can restart with standing hits that you can, so this is a good sign. Okay. At least everything's not a one hit kill, so that's good. But 855 gil from one battle is nice. Let's see some forest enemies. Okay. I have to keep using this one with him because it's the only attack I have that's like, it hits everybody. So I think it's a big benefit. And, I mean, it is very powerful, as you can see. So I maybe have one or two more battles and then I'll head in to buy some Holy Waters. Probably a few more High Potions as well. Okay, she's getting picked on. Um... Yeah, it's starting to see some serious moves here. If it carries on like this, Celez might have to become a um, bit more of a white mage. So let's gain a level, obtain Mithril Knife, and 1,100 gil. So it's very easy to, to get gil here. Okay. So I'll get some Holy Waters, and I think I'll wrap things up for this session. And be back fresh for the next one. This was a good one. We managed to make some legit story progress. We got a bit of, um, bit of background information, a bit of story about some of our protagonists. So I think it went well. And we had some more difficult battles too. So we started to have people get KO'd and shit. That's good to see. Mm. I mean, I feel like you could really just farm here. And you probably should. <laughs> 
Just spend like five, ten minutes fighting, get yourself ten thousand gil, fifteen thousand gil, and just buy a ton of everything. But I probably won't just to, to not overdo it. But it's definitely something that you could do if you wanted. So yeah, I'm gonna save here. I'll be back soon to continue Five Fantasy Six. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far.